this, eh? So apologies there to everybody for this delayed coverage. Uh, just one of the teething issues we're going through at the moment, but we're happy to bring you uh, updated coverage. I can tell you now the score has actually just been updated. It's about to be updated. It's 5-3, the Exiles leading the Dragons here in this Premiership match, UAE Rugby. So a penalty just been taken by the, the Dragons. You can see playing on their home field. Last week they were on the other side, so... Bit of a changeover now, we're going to jump onto this side. We're back into it, and the clock is up to date as well, so we're looking about 20 minutes in with the water breaks. It's like time as we come into here. But thank you again for being part of the Sporting Rugby Club Consortium, help supporting the Dragons and supporting Exiles Rugby here in the, in the region, UE Rugby. Let's look forward to an absolute another bruiser battle. Dragons had a big battle last week. Exiles had a big battle. Uh, Exiles going down just by one point to buy Tigers and Dragons to and fro with the Quins. So two teams looking for their first points. Referee there calling the short arm. We've seen the Premiership so far, we've seen kicking's been absolute vital to a lot of the teams. Uh, Position-wise, this one not going out though, so Exiles, can they return the favour? And they can, but it's going to be a small win here for the Dragons, as they've still made about another 40 metres upfield. So Dragons with the throw now. A nice, beautiful, nice uniform there, I have to say. The designers did well. Loving, loving the uh, outfit to both sides, I have to say. <laughs> so Dragons now in position. Oh, great, great contact there, getting past the tackler. Allowing for quick ball, but still a little bit slow. Oh, uh, scrummy there, a little bit surprised with the ball. Looking for space out wide, Dragons. They love to play a fast, expansive game, and you've seen that here early days. Okay, a little bit slow in the rucks, though. So we need, probably need to speed that one up a little bit more. Oh, we're nearly sniping through a space there. Potentially an opportunity. Now, again, here we so we're talking about the expensive game, looking out wide, but Exile well covered. Nice work here, great control of the pill. Looking for options, looking for options. This one sent out long. Nice little tip on. Even with the pole on the way. <laughs> it's getting a bit of a focus point on that. 
and a knock on but some great work there by the dragons uh building up phases down the field stringing those together uh, that was one of the things one of the areas they struggled in the first period last week which has been a string though they weren't able to string those together and now it looks very very good indeed putting lots of pressure on the exiles and what we expected was a big contest in the premiership with such tight contests last weekend uh, between what well, probably considered you know there's, there's seven teams in the West Asia and all equally have the ability to win I heard a big battle last night the Quins and the Canes and that one came down to the last three points at the end that was a edge of your seat stuff that one was I expect no difference in all of those, these clashes. You expect maybe three to five points could be the margin only. So with the Doha having the week off, there's usually three matches per weekend. And this so this one, Doha is doing double headers. So they ones when they come over later on, will be considered double headers. It's just to help because it is, is financially very tough on a lot of clubs. So... What we're looking to do is just consolidate in some areas. And as the game looks to expand, the game looks to grow. Um, and that's for a reason the whole production side of things as well. As we we're looking to bring you more and more these side of things to get more sponsors on board, get more eyes on the game, and to be able to help clubs and the, the game grow within, within Asia, or Middle East especially. So just a little break here to uh, take care of the injured player. Um, a big shout out to all these people that do currently sponsor the teams to help make it viable, to make this possible. Um, that's what's kind of, you know, through the process, the evolution. This is why we now have uh, these productions coming to you. And of course, there's going to be slightly teething, but we're going to be bringing in you close to a, a television production soon to be. Obviously, we don't have the big budgets, as we were just saying, but we're looking to bring you some really good coverage over the coming weeks. Uh, and you'll see there'll be replays, highlights, uh, potentially podcasts, um, across, especially across the Premiership to start with, and as we look to develop uh, through Division 1, 2, and the women's game as well to help just get more eyes uh, on all the clubs, all the teams. If you haven't been down to the JA Shooting Club lately, you'll see there's some two fields now. We've got one on this side and the one directly behind us. If you can see me looking at the, the screen, it'll be in the opposite direction. And they've got two new, or two nice, I should say, grass fields. Not necessarily new. The field's been here for a couple of years. It was Astro. And now it's a, a nice green and grass field on the other side. It's where the Dragons normally uh, play. So they played the Quins was on the other side last week. Quint, uh, sorry, Quinns, oh my gosh. Exiles with the put in and a big shove by the Exiles as well. Lots of pressure on the Dragons forwards there. And quickly out the back, as you see play continue. Exiles looking to get into their work as they build their way out of their half. It's a nice quick delivery here. Again, winning the contact. Setting up for the quick pill. But this one not secured so dragons are now in a great position if they can get to the right looks like they'll have opportunities on the right bit of miscommunication there between the players but some fantastic stuff here by the dragons looking to build looking to build some phases oh. and the call there from the referee naughty board chair in Dragons, they do this, they're very well known for it, they go quick, they love to tap, they love to run, uh, they must back their fitness, you have to say. You see Dragons now with a huge opportunity to get their first meat pie against the Exiles. Looking out long, 
Nice short ball, but he might be isolated here. Needs some support. Nicely filled in. Little chip kick over the top there. Looks to be gathered, but that pole, sorry about that pole. You gotta tell it to get out of the way. Come on, get out of the way. There we go. Uh, nicely built here. So we're now probably up around that near, near 10 phases. And Dragon's still in great control. They really are winning that contact area. And time called off here. This could be a card, actually. Not sure what exactly happened. Uh, one of the things as we build these productions, we're going to have referees, mics as well, as well as the replays, the highlights, the pre-shows, the post-shows. And so, uh, again, just costs a little bit of money. So as we build, whether it be this year into next year, we're going to bring you some absolute pearl of a coverage. And we're going to consider probably a shot at goal. Yeah. Wise decision. So I've just realized I haven't got all the uh, the sounds coming from the location. We're not actually in location at the moment, so uh, we're in the studio and we've got the camera there. Um, but yeah, you got the bagpipes blaring in the background there. Who doesn't love bagpipes, eh? Some, some absolute classic. Big thank you for joining in wherever you're joining in around the world, whether it be... Uh, here locally in the UAE, we're just outside around the Gulf, over, over across the waters. If you're joining in to support your team, thank you very much for doing so. It really means a lot and really will help us build the support uh, for the game of rugby here in the region. Oh, beautiful take, retain their own, retain their own ball, the Exiles. And some big crash balls here. Nice, strong carries. I think he's dropped that one himself and I thought it was him, but no referee. He's in a much, much better position. Just another injury here, unfortunately, to one of the players. I want to give a shout out to the uh, the referees, the officials. Uh, I love supporting the UAE rugby and also to help the game grow, we need the officials on board. So if you are on Instagram, you are a uh, love to follow good things, then head over to UAE underscore rugby refs and support the referees that officiate all our matches. Uh, and if you're thinking about, you know, potentially helping the game grow, this could be a great place to do it. And as I'm talking about that, that was a bit of a shocker, really. That one going dead, and not by a little bit, by a long way. So uh, maybe a bit of too much polish on the boots there. Send that one across the dead ball line. Man, that one, I haven't seen one of those in a while. That, that was a howler. He'll want to take that one again, won't he? Advantage for exiles as they look to approach. Oh, some big options. This is you, Skulky. Go, go, oh, yes, and that's a beautiful, beautiful piece of work. They're absolutely stunning. Exiles are showing some class on the far side. Just shows the cohesion between the players, the noose of the, the reading of each other to be able to strike back and strike back hard. Exiles, they are the defending champions and 
you know, after their first loss to the Tigers, super close game. That one could have gone either way. They'll need to get their season back on track, and if they can keep doing things like that, they'll be sitting pretty, you have to say. <laughs> This one, again, kicking is going to be so important. We talked about how close this game is, how close last um, week was for them. And we're going to continue to see many close matches. How was the kicking? That one, unfortunately, is going to carry it on from the, the kick per touch. So the score remains 10 points to 6. Exiles, the visitors leading the Dragons here in this UAE Premiership match. Really interesting in the off-season, like you see it in eSports, you see a lot of teams uh, bringing in new blood. And with the new blood, you know, lots of changes, lots of new combinations. Uh, teams having to find their feet again. And I have to say, across all divisions, teams doing very, very well. It's like they've a fish to water. They've jumped in, no problem, and they're swimming. So Dragons opting to go long here, long and deep. Oh, big bump off there, and he's, he's still going. Dragon's not taking him to ground, finally getting him down, looking to pull for the ball. Dragon's putting on pressure. Lots of pressure coming on from the Dragons, but Exile's able to hold out. That was a great bit of rugby there. And we've got some enterprising playing both sides, but all until that moment. Just one of those things. I mean, you're always striving for the perfect game, of, you know, as a player and then as a team. You know, you want to keep the penalties down as low as you can. Five to ten is pushing the high, so if you can keep it under five, you've done really well. That's what you want to do. I always like to give a big shout out to the uh, to the medical staff as well, the physios and the teams. You know, they put a lot of time and effort into making sure players are prepared for each match, making sure that during the match, if there's something that comes up, a knock, they're quickly on it, so they can uh, reduce the impact of that injury. And of course, afterwards as well, cool down super important. I love one of these shots, those are great. Guys are right in front of us. Excellent to see. <laughs> you know, if you are from other places from around the world, you can't quite join in uh, on site and location, then this is the next best thing. I've got to say, it sounds like a bit of a party going on down <laughs> at the, uh, the shooting club. And so it should be. This is premier men's rugby here in the UAE. So, Exiles with the put in. Solid scrum. And look at like a bit of the edge there to the Exiles. They are. They got the dominance. Looking for the penalty, I imagine. And there it comes. And a full arm penalty as well. Now we saw them last year, uh, last uh, weekend. <laughs> the hafters. They they were taking kicks from out long. In fact, the Tigers they what they did was they executed early on their kicks, put to, to build a bit of pressure. Now with 
time coming up on the clock. It doesn't look like they're going to go for the kick for post. It looks like they're going to go for the corner. And hopefully this one's better than the last. Left footed kicker. Put it inside the 22. So opportunity, big opportunity here. Oh, no, sorry, just outside the 22. Big opportunity for the Exiles to lay the platform. And they do love to, you know, draw them with their big lads, draw defenders in, and then open up spaces on the, on the wider channels. And so I can I can only guess and imagine that's exactly what they're going to do. So off the back, here they go. Sit up for a bit of a drive. Advantage straight away like that. Looks like a couple of dragons players just leading the way, and this is this is a huge maul. Oh, look at the momentum they got going on. It's massive. It's going to take a lot to stop. I don't think they can. Dragons, I mean, they're dropping left, right, and center. And that one in the way. So the advantage again was being played. So Dragons able to hold them out. And I'll look for next opportunity. You can only think what they look for from here. Close, tight game. Three points gives you seven. So a scoring advantage called the scrum it's a tough one you know early in the piece what do you do um, especially close to half time it's always good to put some extra points on and if you're in the lead stretch that lead a little bit now if, if you are behind then definitely it's, it's sometimes better just to take the points it's like being chased Few stoppages uh, going on here throughout this game. It's been a tough one. That's why it's a big shout out to the uh, to the medical staff. sure on the clock how much time is left. Exiles looking to put the extra points on the board before the end. Oh, I've been told a bit of a here now exiles looking to take advantage they do like their wide channel but now they're looking to crash as we talked about before looking to get through powerful leg drive there and just one of those ones some big defense there by exiles Looking to push on through, unable to do so. And some great defense there by the Dragons. So Dragon, uh, sorry, Exiles with another opportunity. Dragons having to defend here. And this one's just come off the back and just a little bit messy.
Exiles probing, Exiles probing, getting close. What can they do from here? Skulky! Go! Go! One more! George, what are you doing? Oh! Not your fault, Skulky. Head up.
So this one a little bit off, as you can tell, lots of little stoppage time. It's 10 minutes to 8, which means there probably should be a, a, a half time here. And as I say that, <laughs> there it is. There's the half time. Uh, Exiles versus Dragons. Exiles leading the Dragons 10 points to 6 here in this Premiership match. Absolutely brutal encounter between the two, two sides. Uh, what are your thoughts? Let us know in the comment section what you think. What are the thoughts on how the teams have got to do? I mean, Exiles had a lot of opportunities in their last part of the first half. Um, definitely look like they were probably going to score, but then Dragon defense stood up, kept out kept out that red machine, and then nearly created opportunities themselves on the other side. So big 40 minutes ahead here in Premiership Rugby. Don't go too far. We'll be straight back.
So back underway, here we go, UAE Rugby at its finest. A great contest between last year's champions, the Vi Exiles, taking on the Dragons. Had a bit of a rough season last year, and they'll be looking to improve on that. Had a great game against Harlequins, but unfortunately going down uh, in that one last week. And now looking to finish this one off. And it was, you know, they had, had moments through, uh, through that game last week, so they've got the fitness. Just got to hold on to that pillow a little bit longer. Look for the battle. In fact, that one they let get away from them uh, against the Quins. So here, they'll be looking to pull on a full 80, 80 display. So a big rumble in the jungle here in front of us. It's the, the big boys going at it, exiled ball in hand. Slowly but surely making their way back up. There's a great defense there by the Dragons, keeping the exiles out. That one, absolute beauty. <laughs> I have to say, love that, love that a lot. It might just be me, but this one looks like the field's a little sloping right to the left, so maybe a bit of an advantage here for the Dragons heading, heading a bit downhill. <laughs> maybe they've uh, they planned that one at the start of this match. So there's a great opportunity here though for the Dragons to strike first in the second half. You know, there are only a few points out, a few points away. One try will get them in the lead, and that's all they need. So here, Dragons with the opportunity to strike. Looking long, this one right over the back, not straight. Maybe can about give him the advantage there for Exiles because he looked hungry, got the ball in his hand. I'm sure he would have been happy to, to give it a go. Take off down the lines. He would have been humming. I've seen the term beast being thrown out a few times and he definitely matches uh, that description. <laughs> big lad, big shoulders. So here we go, Dragons looking to put pressure on, but Exiles doing some beautiful work coming out of their own territory, looking for some extra space, looking to build up. And 
Here we can see the ball going nice and long. Advantage though to the exile, so they'll be able to get out of jail here. And they can take their relieving penalty if they want, but they'd like to keep the ball in hand. It's a big crash ball. Again, great contact. Exiles taking it in and a oh, charge down as well, but again, playing out of advantage. He's seen some really good carries. And the Fords especially been able to really control that contact. Which means nice quick ball for the scrummy to come in and keep delivering. And Exiles making their way back up the field. <laughs> so a tight encounter here down in the J Sports, well, J Sports Centre might be known as. So Exiles right on halfway with opportunity. Here you go. Swing their ball out. Cutting back in. And Dragons are right over the ball. Oh, it's gone the other way. Again, going off the net. Fair enough too. See it was going off his feet. Could definitely argue that the other way, but no. Not supporting. Elbows clearly on the ground, so. Just want a nice clearing kick, send it back downfield. Have to say, we'll have to ask the old uh, Jay Sports Center if they could put a tower in. They've got a tower. Uh, it's actually on the side, but. Come on, boy! Not sure why our camera's down, yeah, down a little bit lower. Oh Again, we've got a brush to get across here, so. Here we go. It is Exiles to, to and fro in a great run, and. Nice dragons hunting. And there we go again. Some, some really great carries. Not sure what his number is, but some really great carries. Great into contact again. Oh, nice big hit. Big defense there, the big boys. Oh, and after all that. Oh, Tiggy! It's 
Go, buddy. Go, Peanut. So it's a great enterprising play there from both teams, and it's the Exiles up near the Dragons. Dragons line. This is actually the only rugby match going on throughout the region at the moment. Oish. Look at that. As you can tell, you can hear in the background there, it's a big party uh, over the Dragons. A lot of supporters headed out to the shooting club, which is amazing to see. And a nice return there. Great carry, good 20 metres up the field. So Exiles, again, looking at that platform. Strong first 10 minutes here by both teams. Opportunities both sides. None able to take advantage of that. It was a bit of a pause one, wasn't it? Gavriel up. This one being sent out. Looking to work their way back up the field, the Exiles. Some great control. And you always like to see that from the big man. Look to straighten up the ball. Look, here he goes. So this one being lost and Drag is looking to pounce on it quick and early, but he's run into a couple of strong shoulders here. Bounced off, carries on, and momentum in the way of the Dragons. So rightfully kicks over the top and a great chase for one of the Dragons players. Two of them up there, in fact, and had to kick and clear, but this one and not out, so Dragons. They get another opportunity at it. So big pace. Exiles trying to get in there, and they did a great job. Oh, knock on, sorry. So great job there by Exiles putting pressure on. Dragons in that last phase there going across the field and not forward, so. Nice no, searching for a bit of space, couldn't find it out wide, and Exiles line, of course, once the ball's been touched, we can move forward again. Oh no, stand up! Stand up! Stand up! Stand up! They move! Man, these are these physios are kept uh, kept busy, that's for sure. Another great crash, but look at that, gains about 10 metres up through the middle. An advantage then, a big bump off, <laughs> found some space. Exiles, hitting holes. And strong on the ball getting loose, and a huge opportunity now for the Exiles. Close, pick and go, pick and go, but this one just picked and left behind so drag is able to pounce on it and defense stands up again but we're seeing multiple players uh, phases sorry by both teams which is a really enterprising play and now dragons doing the smart thing pushing it back downfield but saying it was taken back into the 22 so bit of a mistake there and all the way back 
presenting a huge opportunity now for the Exiles. What you've really got to love about uh, this here is that you see you step up, you see there's a big step up between Division 1 and the Premiership. And you can really see some great tactical um, points coming out throughout this match. You know, when there's pressure on, there's some calm heads, they know when to kick and clear, or they play heads up and they look for space. And if it's on, it's on, and they go for it. And you see the team, uh, especially in the Prems, you've seen them doing 10 plus phases. Great control. Uh, they really do the tacklers, or sorry, the ball carriers really control that contact and they're allowed to set up nice and quick and that's the real difference there is being able to provide quick pill, keep the pace going. So it's going to be a line-up favour of the exiles down the down the end of the field. Sells up nice and high, well off the top. Exiles <laughs> being forced back, so good defense here by the Dragons. And a nice bit of momentum now. Dragons have snuffed them out a couple of times. But what? So close. <laughs> so they have to look wide. They do. The rat comes round, the great defense. Oh, Taiki, well this is you! Oh. Taiki, call! Oh. It might be, oh, great, Manu, Manu there. Big, oh, again, big hits on. And the ball out, so again, Dragons, great go, go, line Scott, defense. Go, go, go. And then Court holding on to the ball, so this one. And thought the Dragons got themselves out of it. Cool. Come back around the other way. A quick tap. They're trying to keep the momentum going. And here it is. Opportunity, huge opportunity for Exiles to extend their lead. And I'm hoping we haven't got spectators in the way, but no, it looks like it was great defense from the Dragons. Another thing we're going to have to uh, sort out is the camera angles out here at JA. This is definitely tough. You can see the cameraman there trying to sneak around the corner. So a bit of stop starty here in the second half. Uh, Exiles though, the first opportunity, real big opportunity to score. But the Dragons defense really standing up tough, making it super difficult. Let's see what they can do off the top. And as you see there, it's just the simple things, pressure's on. They always say that final hurdle is the hardest, and it's proven to be the case for the Exiles. It's probably about the third, fourth big opportunity they've had so close five metres out, and it's been the Dragons' defence that stood up every time. Oh, this one kept in though. 
So some great distance, but cleverly kicked in by the Exiles player, and now looking to split out wide, but a loose pass <coughs> falls through the hands of Exiles. Not really going forward here at the moment. So some good efforts, great job by the Dragons putting pressure on the, uh, the Exiles attack, but now finding some momentum forward, some big momentum forward, getting himself into the 22, and looks like he might be able to get himself loose. Quick recycle there, it's going long, and if they can stretch the Dragons out, the Exiles could have a chance, but they chose to go straight. Now they're looking wide, now they're looking for numbers. An advantage, so this is going to help. Quick pill, and because they had the advantage, they tried to really kick through, and the Dragon player was able to get his foot between the try line and the ball. So coming back for that penalty, and it'll be interesting to see what they decide to do from here. Not sure where exactly what part of the field the penalty is in, so will the Exiles go for the three, extend the lead to at least seven, or are they going for the corner? Money would say they're probably going to go for corner. Oh, actually. Yeah, certainly looks that way. So another huge opportunity for Exiles. Only a few meters out. Apologies for the angle on the camera. Can I do so much? <laughs> As we said, the productions um, definitely, we're looking to step these productions up for you, bring you these, uh, especially the premiership matches from around the UAE. Uh, they are a work in progress as far as what we can and where we can be. But another, that's the fifth, fifth big opportunity for Exiles. So it's Dragon's defense that's keeping them in the game, and it's Exiles making these little mistakes that are just letting them off the hook. So. has come from the set piece and line out as well. So for the Exiles, it's kind of a similar story last week against the, uh, the Tigers. Things looking really promising and there's a little error letting the, uh, the opposition off the hook. So a big carry off the back. Still with the uncontested scrums. That one's a little high, so the advantage played is there, and that's again, that's one of those things we've been seeing. I mean, if watching different games, cross divisions, two, one, two, uh, premiership, you've seen the tackle height is really being strict at uh, sternum or below, or the nipple line. Another huge kick, but I don't think that's not going out, so. A little mistake there. Talk about how important the kicking is. A great chase from the exiles. Lots of pressure on and opportunity. But it's gone into the hands of the dragon, so it's going back the other way. And now the player looking for support. Not a little bit comical, and he's actually nearly just passed straight into the dragon's player. So if it wasn't for that knock on, maybe she would have been under the post themselves. In one little moment, you think one team's got that advantage, and uh, fortunately, goes the other way. So they're going for, it looks like, a water break here. Quench the thirst. Big thank you to uh, everyone tuning in as well. Really does mean a lot to the Rugby Club Consortium to support uh, Matt and Peter helping push these productions for the RCC, for the clubs to come together. Obviously the clubs, you know, have their uh, sponsors and they're putting some funds in towards this. So it, it does take quite a bit to be able to deliver this. And obviously there's no 
big budgets, so all this trying to be done with such little budget, but we're trying to bring you higher and higher quality as we can. So if you're able to help out your club, uh, that would be great. Approach the club, approach the Rugby Club Consortium, the RCC. And if you're able to have us a sponsor for at least you're being here is a great way to show numbers, numbers in the game, numbers, eyes on the prize. And what that will mean is sponsorship for the club, sponsorship, financial aid for the game of rugby here in the UAE. So big thank you for you guys for joining in. Souls of the feed. I see uncontested scrums, and I, to be honest, sorry, I, did, I apologize. I did miss what happened there. This one off the side of the boot. Maybe it was planned. It could have been off to the wing, but either way, it's going to drag his hands, and he's up high, so he's, he's down the ground. So no, not pulled. So he's bulleted out. And Eventually, Dragon's having to kick downfield, and there's a nice chase. Three chases. And Dragon's not to sniff this one because so there wasn't much support, but Exile's able to hold on to it. Oh, well held. I wish you had to say some nice builds of play, but then the ball spills out, so it's maybe that common tree curse type of thing. And Dragons getting some momentum their way now. You see, Dragons, they build some, they not necessarily build um, straight forward up the field, like you see them kick a little bit, go a bit of pressure on, and they'll make their way up the field step by step. Um, even if it's back and forth, they find a way to move up the field and put themselves in some good positions. Another stoppage in play. I mean, wow. Play safety, obviously paramount. There's big talk uh, on the global sound, uh, scene just about how much time, like there's some of the international matches, there's only 28, seven minutes of play throughout a match. Um, obviously, from a viewing point of view, people want to see players play. Watching, watching the, uh, the World Cup rugby at the moment. It's a bit of a stunner at the moment going on. There's feet in the Oh, it's a great play to here and it's the Dragons. They turn ahead for a second and Dragons doing what they do from out of nowhere, putting golden points on the board. So the Mountain taking the lead here. 11 points to 10. With some enterprising play, some beautiful stuff. I have to go back and actually look at the replay for that one because that was actually great. That was fantastic. That's what we love to see and that's why we want to bring you all these live streams so we can uh, show. And the extra two added as well so that is a big turnaround. Now the lead 
13 points to 10. The Dragons lead the Exiles here. And it was just a nice out the back, nice little wrap around, and the winger, nice fend to finish it off with, and then just takes it all the way under the post. Speed and skill wins the day on that one. So as we said, we are looking for a big, big premiership season. These kind of matches, these kind of tight contests, exactly what we want to see. If you're a Fijian fan, you might want to go check out the uh, international that's happening at the moment, Fiji and Georgia. I'm not going to ruin it for you if you're saving, saving yourself. getting it back underway, nice and high. And it looks like the heads are up for sure. So I mean, after you score, you, you really want to keep some composure. You don't want to let the other team in. And very cleverly, this one pushed down the field, looking for a bit of territory. A little bit too deep inside the 22. So, and right next to the camera, so I know you'll see that one. Here we go. Exiles back on it. Looking down the other end. Tucks the ball under. Looks like a charge forward. Big hit, nice carry for a fair bump off two players. Seen a few of the passes from our halves here, both teams a little bit high, a little bit behind. Yeah, Aggies playing a little bit lazy there. Nibana's yeah. been playing now for the Exiles. Exiles moving it down stairs, got to, got to play to turn around, so he has to go back now and chase, got the support. Give them the advantage there for the exiles. They move themselves into opposition territory on their 40. Go, Fritzy! I don't want to say too much, but uh, it's a bit of a surprise of an international going on at the moment. Just play hold here for the meantime again. Further definitely helps when you think about the conditions that the UAE these players have come out from. And literally, it's super hot here during the summer. Really hard to get your training in unless you're spending a bit of time indoors. But of course, you have to adapt to the outdoors. And right now, both teams are doing a fantastic job keeping the, uh, the lungs filled. Set up. Dragons clearing. 
find some territory. And this one right down the middle. The only one. I think I'll play it. He hit it with a lot of kicking. This one pressing on the ground. Looking for the up and under. A really good chase here. Great chase, in fact. They well also return. That's why they'll maintain the ball. It's a huge pass. And pressure on from the Dragons players. And this one falls just on the half. Dragons thinking about the fast one, but calm the mind prevail. That was a really great enc encounter. 15 minutes to go here. And it's only been with the solo try, the difference in the second half. The only points, I should say, sorry, being scored in the second half. And the lead only by three, so all it takes is a simple penalty. And it's level terms. Dragons with the throw. Oh, Exiles up in the air. Yeah. problem, but the problem didn't come from the catch, it came from the throw. Substitutions now being made by the Dragons. Big shift there, big shift indeed.
So this one is again a great opportunity for the Exiles. Exiles probing close to the line. Referee, they're trying to get to have a look, see what's happening. Of course, doesn't have the advantage of technology, but Exiles still looking. Coming back in on the angle. Big hole there, villain! Call for it! And it's beautiful work there for the Exiles now striking back. Putting time back on. Oh, sorry about that. Time went off. <laughs> but the visitors striking back now, taking back the lead. As we say, it's a seesaw battle out here. An absolute classic of a match. Premiership match. That's what we expect to see. And that last year's match between the Exiles and Dragons, just as uh, enticing, just as beautiful, too. I have to say, that was an absolute classic. I believe, if my memory serves me right, there was a one one match with Pip each. They both, uh, well, they were maybe actually the Exiles actually uh, got both, but I think the Dragons really pushed them. I'm having a bit of a tough season, Dragons. I think that last game at, at Exiles, I believe that was super tight. No one expected that, but it was a great battle. And this one here is a great battle. This one nicely pushed through added points so Exiles find himself with that cushion again 17-13 by Exiles leading in the Dragons RFC Apologies, the, uh, the audio might have just gone back up there a little bit. Uh, well underway, you know, normally, you know, can you see the game kicks off at 7 o'clock. It's normally done at 90 minutes later, so it's only two 40 minutes half. So you have about five minutes of half time, maybe some water break, a couple of minutes, so it's maybe an extra 10 minutes. We're already at that mark now. We're past the half, sorry, 8.30, so... 10 minutes later than we expected obviously due to the stoppages in play so again not sure exactly what the clock is on the referee's watch that's the only one that matters but I would say there still must be at least, at least 5 minutes here at least and there's another mistake there on the line out just not straight, there's probably the 4th 5th I can remember, potentially other ones happened earlier on of the mistake simply not throwing it in straight And a short arm penalty there coming across the line, looks like. Exiles now trying to work their way back up the field. Now looking for a buffer. Great pressure here from the Dragons. Looking for space, looking for opportunity now. Driving himself back down the field. They need to build some phases from here. Don't want to hold on to the ball. Get up, Ty, get up, Ty, get up. Nice little goosey looking the outside, but well covered as well. Great defense. 
and taking it to the line. Nearly find himself getting through there. So Dragons look like they love to hold the ball. They love to run. Have to say, Delhi, one of the teams that I've always uh, enjoyed watching because they're, they're willing to give it a go. Next I was over the ball there. Maybe we would have got a little bit earlier, but I thought it was a little drop, uh, not gone really before, but that one there, nice and strong over the ball. And that's all that needs to happen from the Exiles. They just want to keep control of this one. curious and I'm sure you are as well how much time exactly is left on the referee's clock I'm trying to get word from uh, from the park itself it's a big defense here from Dragons but not on the ball unfortunately so Exiles marking their way down the field and the ball finally comes out Fighting for every inch here, the Exiles, they'll want to put a, a nail in the proverbial coffin, as they say, or they'll want to close this one out. <laughs> Double whistle blowing, referee just telling them both to calm down, both teams. Our features we're going to look to bring you uh, shortly here with these matches is also referee communication. So we're going to look to include these in these streams. Again, it's just one of those things that takes a little bit of time just because it's quite technical. Uh, we're doing this on two or three man teams. We're covering a lot of the games <laughs> already and it does cost a lot. The equipment does cost a bit. So, But soon enough we shall have it. We've got to hear what the referees are saying, discuss and you know, we can always share our opinions, our thoughts. This one, a long version of play, and it's a red card showing. So, Exiles. Was it, was it a red card shot? Apologies, I thought it was a red, but... No, I think I got that completely wrong. Sorry, I've got a little color, color blind there, so apologies. And that kick shanked. Dragons, they're going to do it the hard way. Sixty-five centimeters, seventy meters up the field. That's where they need to go if they're going to pull out the W on this one. Must be a bit of time because playing the Dragons, especially, they're looking calm and collected. <laughs> the receiver there telling them to hurry up, put it in.
And yes, that one not winning the contact for the Dragons and making it hard for themselves here in these closing stages. In fact, that is it. The match comes to an, the end. It is the Exiles winning in the final moments, really pulling out 17 and 13. That, fi uh, that final score, so a big score change since the uh, the half time. Dragons looking strong, and it was the Exiles there that brought them and brought them home. That try being the difference. The kicks not going the way they wanted to, not the way it was supposed to, maybe. But uh, a great contest nevertheless and it just proves how good this premiership is going to be and it's going to be an absolute doozy moving forward so looking forward to that excited about that prospect of all these premiership matches especially the west asia with doha back in it canes back in it and again there was such a tight contest between canes quins last night the one point last weekend between the exiles and the tigers so uh exiles getting on the the board the overall leaderboard Dragons showing some really great signs and just missing out again. Probably well, is not the halftime. That is the wrong score, but that is the correct score. Just the wrong... Uh, just the wrong... Uh, they call it the information on the top, but officially it is official that the full-time score between the Exiles and the Dragons. It is... 17-13, Exiles win this one by four points. Uh, big shout out to everyone again. Thank you very much for joining in the stream and supporting rugby. Without you, this is not possible, so a huge, huge thank you. Thank you to the supporters of the clubs and uh, the RCC. Really appreciate the work you do. Much love to everybody there. And I uh, do apologize again for the earlier mishap. Again, do be, be with us for a week or so as we do build these... Uh, products as you can see people want to support their teams they want to support their players their friends their peers and so uh, we're looking forward to bringing you more and more rugby throughout the season so from ja shooting club and on behalf of ua rugby men's premiership thank you very much for joining thank you very much for support and we'll see you next weekend for more premiership rugby